Hey everybody, I thought I'd go on a quick little barn tour. A lot of fun to see what things used to look like. And uh, this is the start of one for the barn. Spent a lot of time this past year trying to clean things up. Uh, it's still quite a mess, but it's better than it was. Uh, I've kind of taken over this sort of area as workbench stuff. There was a workbench here, it was kind of cluttered. Even worse than this and less organized. Here's a cabin that I made. Uh, practicing dovetails, and gluing and hinging and stuff like that. Um, the workbench, a little shelf I made for all the tools. This is not even all the planes I've gotten lately. There's a couple more in storage that just weren't really worth messing with. Um, a bunch of hammers. Cheap old dovetail saw. A little thing I made to hang up other saws. Rip saws. Tenant saw. Uh, a little. Let's see if we can get that window out of the way. A little rack I made for my uh, brace and bit stuff and various little jigs and shims and other foolishness. Uh, drawers underneath that I put together. Uh, there's a shave horse I made. Semi-original design. I mean, there's not much to it. Worked pretty well. Something I made when I first got here in November, about uh, you know almost 12 months ago, was this foolish chopping block. With some feet to make it a little higher. There's my helicopter. Yesterday it landed in the pig pen after it ran out of batteries. That was no good. I'm using the shave horse to make a lot of little tools and finishing them up on the bench. Here's an example of uh, I had a stick of maple that I used trying to use for drawer sliders. It wasn't working so well, so I was boiling out some apples to make applesauce for the pigs and thought, oh, I should make this into a stirring tool or something. A little hook helps latch on and hook onto the pot as it boils without having to grab it. So, a little fun little tool. And stuff that hasn't really been organized lately is the rack of dead animal heads. Um, tool area has been kind of organized a little better, but it's still not, not great. Some stuff left over from the move that we've got to move over to the garage. Recreational stuff. There's a couple of sawhorses I made from the Paul Sellers design. I used those actually when I was making the pig feeder, the automatic pig feeder, and they work pretty well. There's some older sawhorses there that my dad made a long ago. I don't know how old, but they are pretty weathered. Uh, they look great. There's some more miscellaneous stuff. Here's an area that's uh, been cleaned up a lot, but there's still stuff to go. There's so many cans and buckets and containers of fasteners and nails and all kinds of other stuff that uh, needs to be just gone over sometime and uh, put in one place, organize, see what we've got for inventory. Uh, that kind of thing. Some random fixtures. Got the four-wheeler in here because my dad has been loading the area with wood for the winter for processing. We actually got the greenhouse full of seasoned wood that's going to be great for this winter. So this stuff is all for next year. Sort of disrupted his splitting operation temporarily while we were working on greenhouse stuff for gardening. But there's tons of wood out in the greenhouse. A little hard to see through the grimy window, but there's tons of stuff out there to burn this winter. So this side is all devoted to uh, wood storage. area back in here it sort of skipped over but kind of hard to see a little bit but uh, it's got some stuff just from the move this bog machine and some bottles and stuff and stuff that's just sort of in storage and more tins and pans of miscellaneous stuff nails and whatnot a lot of this stuff is Useful, but probably not anytime soon, so it should probably go upstairs to the second floor. Uh, there's some wrench racks I made. A little woodworking projects, real simple, dumb stuff that was fun to make. Gotta make little jigs and 
things like that for it. So all kinds of fun little treasures. And then last step, I think I'll go up the second floor here. This is sort of right now just for storage. And it's uh, miscellaneous stuff. Came from my father in law. It's a uh, little mini jointer. It's got to be cleaned up and restored before I can really use it. Put some of the tools up here and some of the wood. Just little bits of stuff. Uh, there's a little catwalk up there with a stuff that's just being stored. There's really uh, tons of space up here. I mean, I guess the original idea was to store hay and you would be able to store an unbelievable amount of hay in here if you were still doing that. There hasn't been hay in here in probably 30 years or so. Not in a long, long time. Just random stuff at the moment. Better than it was, it's been swept out, but there's still a lot of debris and everything's covered with a layer of bird crap because every year the uh, barn swallows would move in for the spring, fly around inside, make nests, fly out, but also poop everywhere. So there's a lot of cleanup to do, a lot of washing, a lot of scrubbing, just general organization. But that's it, that's the barn. As of September 2016, a lot of potential, a lot of progress already. I'm really pleased with how much work can get done in here. A lot of space to work with. Oh, there's one other thing I wanted to show. It's an antique saw vise. Bought from a guy in Medi Bumps. He said it belonged to his grandfather. But it will, uh, it's got these wing nuts. You can clamp a saw and you can work on it, sharpen it up. Still haven't determined where I'm going to mount it, but uh, I'm really happy to have all kind of tools that are real practical and useful. Like these old tongue and groove planes, they work great, they sharpened up great, the blades are great. It's, uh, it's a lot of fun. You know, I've just been collecting a lot of useful practical tools that uh, are not necessarily battery powered, but they're not just for just for playing around historic reenactment. They really are useful and they can get some real work done, which I really enjoy. So. That is, like I said, that's the barn 2016. Probably do an update sometime after something nice has happened to it. So, enjoy.